Welcome to another edition of Tailgating with Bentley. Today is a very special edition, and why is it special? It's Thanksgiving Day. We have our turkey here, we have our ham here, and people tell me, David, why would you call Thanksgiving a day of tailgating? Well, I like to call it home gating, because a tailgate, you go to a football game, you have a large meal, everything is centered around that football game. On Thanksgiving, what do we do other than have family and friends over for a large meal centered around watching football on television? And that's what we're going to be doing today. And today, we again, we have our turkey, we have our ham, and we're going to be cooking it. Many people these days like to fry their turkeys. We, instead, are going to fry it, but we're going to fry it infraredly. We have the charbroil, big, easy, oilless fryer. It's an infrared deal. You hook it up uh, as you would a regular grill. So that's what we're going to do right now. As I said, it connects just as if it were a regular propane tank grill. Now that you have your propane tank hooked up to your propane oilless fryer, next thing to do is turn it on. And the thing that I love most about this is unlike grills, it's only got one heat setting. You can't go wrong. All you do is turn the knob on, turn the igniter a few times, put your hand inside, and you can feel the heat coming through. So this is going to preheat. And what we need to do now is to unwrap this turkey and get it ready to be able to put it in the fryer while it's preheating. So let's go inside. Let's work on that. Come on, people. Now it's time to prep the turkey. We've got the turkey right here. We're going to put it in the sink. We've got to rinse everything off. We've got to get it out of the wrapper first. So we go over here. we get a knife. There's that. Uh, take the turkey out. Then we rinse everything off. Ooh, that's spray. Uh, take a little deal off of here. We want to rinse off. Take the plastic out. We don't need that either. After you've removed everything on the inside, rinse the turkey out. Once the turkey is nice and rinsed, it's time to get it ready to put inside the grill. Normally, when I fix most foods, I like to marinate them and all that. With the turkey going in the fryer, the best thing I like to use are the injectable marinades, which are very good, so we're going to come here. Ah, and it's about one ounce per pound of turkey. We have a 13 pounder here. And the best place you inject in the breast and in the legs. So we're going to go do that now. And this thing says it's a one minute marinade and we're going to, we'll know real fast if it uh, ends up working or not. Actually, we'll know in about two and a half hours. Now it's time to put the turkey into the fryer. You put it into its little cage here. Then you just drop it right inside. You leave it. You put the top on, make sure the no debris or anything gets into your turkey. It takes about 10 minutes or so per pound. It's probably a little longer than if you put it in a regular oven. And it's, uh, it's actually, it's shorter than putting it in a regular oven. It's longer than if you had a regular fryer. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it and we're going to check on it periodically and uh, you guys can see how well it cooks. We're at about the one hour mark, and after the one hour mark, let's see how good this turkey looks. We're going to look in here. Got to pull it out. Wow, yeah, that thing looks pretty damn good for one hour. Uh, the temperature, I took that a little bit of a while ago. It's about 83 degrees. You want an internal temperature, 165, 170. So, yeah, we're about halfway there. Let's put it back in, and we'll come back out in about an hour and see how it's doing. All right, we're here. We're at the one hour and 50 minute mark. Let's take a look at our turkey. Our turkey is looking great. I mean, you really gotta check this out. The meat, the, the, the skin, it's looking really tight. Really good, got a good roasting look. Let's drop it back in here. Come back in about 10, 15 minutes and we should be definitely 100% good to go to take it in. We are two hours, 20 minutes in, and let's check out the turkey. 
<laughs> oh, and looking at it in here, the little little popper thing popped out, which tells us the turkey's ready. That's even better than a thermometer. So let's take it over here. We're going to drop it out in a little pan and look at how nice that looks. You can see the little popper came out. We're going to take the thermometer here. We're going to look at it. Thermometers tell me about 155, 156. It's still going up. So we're fine. Now we got to get this guy out of here. So I need to get. Here we go. Woohoo! That thing is baked right on in here. How about that, huh? Ah. Woo! It is hot. Woohoo! Look at that guy, huh? Let's get him out. There we go. Woo! Got our pan. Now, with our turkey, let's bring him up here. And after you take the turkey out, best thing to do. It's covered in tin foil and let it bake for about another 20 minutes outside of the fryer. It's also good to put some towels on top too, which is what I'm gonna run into and get after. I seal it in here like this. And now, seeing we have our, our little cage here, and we have about 20 minutes to kill. I'd say it's time to put our ham also in here. Got this here. Then the ham should take about a half an hour or so. I believe that's about an eight pounder. Bone in ham. And we're gonna check it out, about a half an hour. Now, after sitting outside for 20 minutes with our tin foil and our towels on top, it's time to finally unveil what this turkey's gonna look like. There you go. Probably looks just like it did if it came out of an oven. Now it's time to cut through the middle to make sure that this thing turned out right. Look at that. Then. Thing just came right off the bone. Oh, this thing's coming right out too. <laughs> Look at that. And you can see the juices right there. Look at that. You can see all that. So yeah, people worried it wasn't going to be all good inside. Yeah, we're looking good. All right, so now I'm going to keep carving this up. And that's what's left of our 13-pound turkey. And that's it all cut up. Now it's time for me to present it to everybody. Look at that. That is looking good. And there's our turkey. Look at that. Oh, I almost forgot the ham. And here's the ham I was talking about. Look at that. Look at that. So now we got our ham. We got our turkey. Now I got to get everybody and have them all start digging in now. What? Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Have you ever really thought about how your body works so intricate parts together? I don't want to see it. <laughs> I love turkey. Alright, everyone looks to be having a good time. Everyone's eating. It's time for me to join everybody. Till next time. Stay awake, Haley. Stay awake. <laughs> <laughs>